Welcome to the TPM 4-Minute Friday, where we show you tips and techniques that will help your everyday tasks. My name is Dana Rice, and today's topic is Calculating Surface Stage Storage Volumes. Using the Stage Storage command in Civil 3D, you can calculate incremental and cumulative volumes of a basin. This is a dynamic table generated from this detention pond surface. The command is very straightforward, and probably the most difficult task is finding it. If you come up here on the Analyze ribbon, and then on the Design panel, you'll find the command here, Stage Storage. Go ahead and click on that. Basically what we're doing is generating a report. So I'm going to give this a report title. i call it Detention Pond. Project name. This particular project name is Poplar Lane. Basin description. I'm just going to call it a residential detention pond. There are two methodologies that you can use to calculate your volume. You can use average end area or conic approximation or you can do both. There are two methodologies to defining your basin. You can use manual contour data entry. We're not going to do that today but let me show you what that looks like. That's where you would manually put in your elevation and your areas. What we're going to do today because I have a detention pond surface in my drawing we're going to use define basin from entity. Let me click over here. Basin name, I'm going to go ahead and call it Poplar Lane. Define basin from surface contours. Hit define. And then if you come down here in your command line, it tells you what to do. Please select the surface containing desired contours. I'm going to go ahead and click on my detention pond surface and this gives us a little preview. If I click on Create Report, as you can see, it wants to create a text file. Let me go ahead and put this on my desktop just for speed. Poplar Lane. And this is what the text file will look like. You can also insert the report directly into your drawing. Just hit Insert click somewhere out in model space and then it will pop up this dialog box again. Just hit the red X to close it and there's your stage storage table. Very simple and straightforward. I would also like to take a few moments to show you a little use command that will put cut and fill spot elevations on grid on a volume surface. Now if we come over here to tool space and on the prospector tab I already have a volume surface made. It's called Cut Fill and it is made between the existing ground surface and our proposed pond surface. And so what we're going to do is come up here to the Annotate ribbon, come over here to Add Labels, and this will bring up our little dialog box. And if you select Surface, and then spot elevations on grid. Click add and then the command line is telling you select a surface or press enter to select from a list. I'm going to go ahead and do that methodology. Hit enter. Here's my volume surface. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's telling us that it wants us to define the grid base point for our spot elevation. So I'm just going to click here. Keep the rotation at zero. The grid spacing, I'm going to make it 25 because this is not a very large pond. And then the upper right, zoom out just a little, there we go. You can see the cyan rectangle, that's our parameters, and there we go. Now if you come in here close and look, what Civil 3D does with these spot elevations on grid is it calculates the elevation differences between the two surfaces. So in other words, I'm comparing the proposed pond with the existing ground elevation from the survey and Civil 3D is telling me that, okay, in this point we are filling 7.53, this point we're cutting 2.39, 
So there you have it. Today we've generated a stage storage table that calculates both the average end volume and cumulative volume of a detention basin. And I've also shown you how to quickly put spot elevations on a grid that will show you the cut and fill between your detention pond and your existing ground. Thank you for spending a bit of your time with TPM.